together as one to sing your praise Jesus we desire to seek your face hearts united undivided our praise is breaking through God we can see that you're moving spirit come overflowing with our hearts open now oh Lord we're ready now your light is breaking through it's a new day dawning we're holding on to you we believe you're making all things new we're moving forward heaven sighted we will place our Trust in you No matter what comes our way Your love remains Let our lives now declare That our God reigns From generation to generation Your love is breaking
sa isa na namang Sunday Online Worship Service. Sa ating pong mga first time viewers, kami po ay nagagalak na makasama po kayo ngayong hapong ito. At nawa po ay makasama namin kayo every Sunday sa ating pag-worship. Napakabuti nga po ng Panginoon dahil sa bawat linggong dumaraan, tayo po ay magkatagumpayan sa Kanyang pangalan. Amen. Sabi nga po sa mga awit, Ako'y magpapasalamat sa Panginoon ayon sa Kanyang katuwiran. At aawit, ng pagpupuri sa pangalan ng Panginoon na kataas-taasan. Amen. Sige po, samahan niyo po akong manalangin. Dakilang Diyos at aming Ama, maraming salamat Panginoon sa patuloy mong pag-iingat sa bawat isa sa amin. O Diyos, utang namin Panginoon ang aming buhay, ang aming hininga, at higit sa lahat Panginoon ang pag-iingat na binigay mo sa bawat isa sa amin. Lord, sa sandaling ito Panginoon, may bigay namin ang aming atensyon sa inyong pangalan lamang. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. Sige po, handa na po ba kayong samahan ng ating mga worship team sa ating pagpupuri? Sige po, tayong lahat ay tumayo at samahan natin si na Sister Len at ang ating worship team na magdadala sa atin into worship. Amen! Hallelujah! Let's all worship the Lord! Hallelujah! We welcome your presence in this place, Lord! Hallelujah! 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 Glory, glory to your name, O oh God! Amen. Let's all worship the Lord. You surrounded me with songs of praise. You have brought me to this place where your love and grace move within my life. Now your message is my life. Your love is beautiful Your love is beautiful It's the reason why I sing All around the world Let the praise begin All around the world Let the praise begin Amen! This is where I'm meant to be Your love is beautiful Your love is beautiful It's the reason why I sing All around the world Let the praise begin All around the world Let the praise begin
You inhabit the praises of your people. You delight in the glory of your Son. In the love of the Father we will worship. In the kingdom of God we find no home. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. Amen and amen. 
Salamat mga kapatid sa patuloy niyong pagbibigay sa gawain ng Panginoon. The Lord bless you more. Maaari pa rin po natin gawin ito sa pamamagitan ng paggamit ng ating mga bank applications at pag-scan ng mga QR codes na naka-flash sa ating screen. So sabi po sa awit 4 verse 5, Nararapat na handog inyong ialay. Pagtitiwala nyo kay Yahweh ay ibigay. Amen. Sige po tayo po'y manalangin. Panginoon, maraming salamat Lord sa patuloy mong Katapatan, Panginoon, sa bawat isa sa amin. Lord, thank you for the blessings. They are all yours, Panginoon, and we are giving them back to you, God. Lord, i-bless mo, Panginoon, ang bawat gift ng mga anak mo. At Lord, ito ay magamit, Panginoon, upang lumago pa ang inyong gawain dito sa lupa. We praise you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. Atin naman pong panoorin ang mga announcements. We would like to remind you of our upcoming Joy at Mid-Autumn online celebrations on Saturday the 27th of September. Please join us in interactive games followed by the amazing testimony of local artist Peter Yu. Do invite your loved ones to join us. No pre-registration is needed for Peter's sharing on Zoom, but registration ahead of time is needed for the games. See you then! We're still looking for more Gracians to join us on the afternoon of 19th of September to deliver mooncakes and sponsored magnifier screens to our beneficiaries. This is your last chance to volunteer and be part of this Acts of Grace 70 initiative. We encourage those interested to sign up by Monday, 14th September, 6pm. To find out more po sa ating mga church activities, maaari po tayong mag-refer sa ating church website, Facebook, and Instagram. Maaari rin po kayong mag-subscribe sa ating Telegram. Let us now ready our hearts, our ears, to listen to the Word of God na dadalin po sa atin ng ating kapatid na si Brother Angel Cruz. Mapagpalang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Thank you, Sister Jeremy, for service leading. And thank you, Sister Len, and our praise team for ushering us in worship. Today po, the title of our topic is Love Right. And our text ay matatagpuan in 1 John chapter 2, verse 29, up to chapter 3, verse 10. At ang ating pong big idea, God calls us to live righteously as Christ is righteous. Ang ating pong key verse ay matatagpuan sa 1 John chapter 2, verse 29, and it says, If you know that He is righteous, you know that everyone also who practices righteousness is born of Him. Amen. Tayo pong lahat ay mananang. Yes, Lord, Panginoon, maraming pong salamat sa araw na ito, Panginoon. Lord, samahan mo kami ng iyong banal na Spirito, O God, Lord, sa pag-aaral na iyong salita sa pangalan ng Panginoong Yesus. Amen and Amen. God calls us to a service far beyond anything we could ever imagine. At nilagay po tayo ng Panginoon dito po sa mundo to make a contribution. And we weren't created just to consume resources or to eat, to breathe, and to take up space. And God designed us to make a difference with our life. And we were created to add life on earth, not just to take from it. So God wants us to give, to give something back at makapagbalik po tayo sa Panginoon at sa iba pong tao. And the Bible says, in our union with Jesus Christ, He has created us for a life of righteousness. Na inihanda na po ng Panginoon sa atin for us to do. In Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, it says, for we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, to live right, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Amen? Let us watch this video so we could understand further the meaning of a life of righteousness.
Everyone who sins is breaking God's law, for all sin is contrary to the law of God. Anyone who keeps on sinning does not know him or understand who he is.在我当兵的时候，因为薪水不够，所以我选择了签合同。可是签合同对我来讲是一个错误的选择，因为我的脾气暴躁，我时常跟上司吵架，甚至打架。到后来我被逼逃兵，在逃兵的那一段日子，我
sa atin pong buhay. Amen? It is our identity to do good because tayo po ay anak ng Panginoon. And we are born of Him. It is common po na namamana po ng isang anak yung nature po ng magulang, di po ba? And being born from above or being, bro, being born of Him, it is amazing, di po ba? Because we inherit o mamana po natin yung nature po ng Panginoon who give us our new birth. And next po is reflect the character of God because God, our Father, is loving. And we are loved right because of Him. Ang sabi po sa, sa verse 1, See how great a love the Father has bestowed on us that we would be called children of God and such we are. Ang sabi po doon, at dahil po dito, the, the world does not know us because it did not know Him. See how great a love the Father has bestowed on us. At grabe po yung pagkamangha po ni John. And reading this verse is amazing. At ang sabi po ni John, isipin ninyo kung gaano kalaki ang pag-ibig sa atin ng Ama. At tinawag niya tayong mga anak ng Diyos. And he confirmed again and saying, such we are. At yan ang totoo. Ang sabi po ni John. At mahal po tayo ng Panginoon dahil mahal niya po tayo. Wala pong condition. It is unconditional. It was in Him to love us. It is amazing grace of God that makes sinners into His children. It is magnificent declaration of the divine love which sends God's only Son so that magkaroon po tayo ng buhay na walang hanggan. Amen? So God is the initiator of this love and He chose to love us with a saving love. So the way to live right, yung paggawa po natin ng mabuti, is an act that is established in love of the Father through our Lord Jesus Christ. Ang sabi po doon, hindi po tayo nakikilala ng mundo. The world doesn't know us because it did not know Him. The world doesn't know us. Bakit po? Because we are new creation in Christ Jesus. At ang nakikilala po ng mundo ay ang dati po nating buhay. But the old life is gone and we walk in the newness of life. Ang tinitubok po ng puso ng isang Kristiyano ay ang pagmamahal ng Panginoon. Naroon po yung hope of eternal life. Naroon po na meron tayong access sa trono po ng Panginoon. Amen? One or two months ago, meron po ako nakachat na kapatid po natin in faith. At nagkasunod-sunod po ang trials ng kanyang buhay. Pero bagamat nandoon na marami pong trials, pero nandun po na bukang bibig niya ay ang pagsama ng Panginoon sa kanyang buhay. Na hindi siya iiwanan ng Panginoon. At nandun yung hope and declaration that God is bigger than our trials. At maaaring nagtataka po ang ibang tao because despite of many troubles, nandun po yung faith and joy at patuloy na pagtitiwala sa Panginoon. At dahil meron po tayong saving love na nanggagaling po sa Panginoon, nandun po yung desire natin na magamit po tayo ng Panginoon na gumawa po ng mabuti. At sa pamamagitan po ng ating testimony at mabubuting gawa, ay makakilala po sila sa Panginoon. So that they may know Jesus Christ. Amen? So reflect the character of God because God, our Father, is pure. And it says in verse 2, we will be fully like Him. In verse 2, it says, Beloved, now we are children of God and it has not appeared as yet what we will be. We know that when He appears, we will be like Him because we will see Him just as He is. At ang sabi po doon, being a child of God is not a future event para po sa isang mana ng palataya. Dahil tayo po ay anak ng Panginoon from the point when we believe the Lord Jesus Christ and surrender our life to Him. Kaya ang sabi po sa 1 John chapter 1, verse 12, In addition, as believers, our future has not yet completely been revealed. But in eternity with the Lord, believers will experience a new body and exist forever 
in God's presence in a way far superior compared po sa buhay po natin today. Bagamat some of this is simply impossible for us to understand. Hindi po natin mauunawaan lahat. But certain things will only be revealed to us once Christ appears and bring us home. Amen? Masarap po no, nadadaing po tayo ng Panginoon sa kanyang kaharian. Amen? And John anticipates this, this, this appearing will take place. John anticipates this appearing will take place at any moment. And believers will see God as He is at that time. Ang sabi po dun sa verse, and it says, we will be like Him. Amen? So in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, and in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, it says, Jesus will appear, and believers will see Him, and receive a new body, and we will be with the Lord forever. Love right. I-reflect po natin yung character po ng Panginoon by choosing His ways, His will, and His words in every decision we ought to make. Manifest the life of God na nasa ating po buhay. Amen? Point number two, love right. Do not live in sin. Do not live in sin because sin is incompatible with God's standard. And sin is rebellion against God. And everyone who practices sin also practices lawlessness. And sin is lawlessness, it says in verse 4. So it is unthinkable po, hindi po natin malubos, maisip, na ang isa pong Kristiyano would practice sin which is rebellion against the law of God. It is incompatible with the law of God kung sinasabi po natin that we have Christ sa buhay po natin. Pero kung wala pong submission at wala pong obedience to the law of God, then hindi po siya tugma dun po sa salita ng Panginoon. It is impossible na matapos tanggapin ng isang tao ang, pa- ang Panginoong Jesus bilang Diyos sa sarili niyang tagapagligtas. Siya ay mananatili at mamumuhay sa kasalanan. During John's time, meron po mga false teachers. At sinasabi po nila, they do not sin and therefore there is no need for confession. At para po sa kanila, it seems sin is not important anymore and they claim that salvation was just a change in status from being a child of the devil to being children of God but no change in nature, that there is no need for transformation, na hindi na kailangan ng transformation. Na sinasabi po nila, it was, yung salvation po, it was just a change of eternal destination from hell to heaven, but no change of desire. Si Satan po, our enemy, is always wanting to attack the true gospel, and he is the father of all lies. At ang nais po niya na mga tao po ay maniwala on something that is not true to be secure in this error. And if anyone says that Jesus has come into his life, pero wala pong repentance, there is no submission and there is no transformation, then it is a devil's lie. It is a devil's deception. Dahil si John po, it is very clear na sinasabi po ni John that genuine faith na ang tunay na pananampalataya requires transformation in mind, in emotion, and in will. We have a new nature. Meron po tayong new attitude. Meron po tayong new desire, new loves, and even meron po tayong new hates. At yung new hates po na yun, yung new hates po na yun is sin. Galit po tayo sa kasalanan. Sabi po sa Romans chapter 6, verse 22, we used to be servants of sin. But now, dahil po sa Panginoong Jesus, we are now servants of God. Do not live in sin. Because sin is incompatible with the work of Christ. In verse 5, it says, You know that He appeared, ang ating pong Panginoong Jesus, dito po sa lupa, in order to take away sin, and in Him there is no sin. So ang Panginoong Jesus po, kaya po napalito ang Panginoong Jesus sa lupa, 
He appeared in order to take away sins. And if He came to take away sins from your life and mine, then believers couldn't be the same sinners after Jesus did His work. Amen? That's why in verse 6, sinabi po ron, it says those who abide in Christ does not keep on sinning. And those who abide in Him does not keep on sinning or living in unbroken pattern of sin. Bagamat ang isang Kristiyano po are still subject to temptation and imperfection. But believers should choose not to live in the lifestyle of sin. Not to have sin as a natural way of life. So this is different po from living righteously but sometimes yield to temptation or deception. Pero naroon po genuinely repenting. At naanin po yung repentance, we grieve sa tuwing tayo po ay nagkakasala. At naroon po yung hatred po natin sa kasalanan. And hatred to sin is a righteous response to our unrighteousness. And when we seek the power of the Holy Spirit to enable us not to sin, this is a righteous response showing that the pattern of sin in our life is broken. And in verse 7, it says, Little children, make sure no one deceives you. Wag tayong padaya. The one who practices righteousness is righteous just as he is righteous. And the death of Christ removed our sins and his death joined us to him and we died and buried in our sins but we rose to walk in the newness of life. Amen? And in verse 8 it says, The one who practices sin is of the devil. For the devil has sinned from the very beginning. And the one who practices sin has to be of the devil because of those who are in Christ, yung mga tao po na nasa Panginoon, the power of devil has been broken and sin has been lifted. And the Son of God appeared for this purpose to destroy the works of the devil. Jesus destroyed the works of the devil. And our salvation had an effect on our sinning. Meron pong epekto yung salvation po natin dun po sa ating pagkakasala. It had an effect in our life because the righteous one, Jesus Christ, is in you and me. And the works of enemy in our life is destroyed through our Lord Jesus Christ. And when we have relationship with Jesus Christ, it is impossible po to have a relationship in practicing sin or unbroken pattern of sin. Living right is not an option for Christians. Hindi po siya option because it is who we are. In Psalms 11 says, For the Lord is righteous and he loves justice and he upright will see his face. For the Lord is righteous and he loves righteous deeds. Thus, righteousness is something that we do and we work diligently to become good at it. And in fact, being saved from sin, ang ibig kong sabihin is we have become slaves of righteousness. And in Romans 6.18 it says, which means we are bound to righteousness and must be recognized by our deeds. At tayo po ay marerecognize na tayo po ay tunay na mananampalataya by our deeds so sa pamamagitan po ng ating po mabubuting gawa. And we pray for a greater sensitivity and follow the voice of the Holy Spirit in all our decisions, in our actions, and thoughts, and attitudes. Point number three, love right. Because you have a new life in Christ. In verse 9, it says, No one who is born of God practices sin, because his seed abides in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. A changed person has to choose between good and evil. And John continues his teaching on the topic is of those who continue in sin. 
And John's advice here is actually being targeted specifically doon po sa mga mana ng palataya. In particular, that there is no excuse for sin in the life of a believer. Or grace is not a license to sin. Na hindi po natin pwedeng isangkalang ang grace at ang love ng Panginoon as a license to sin. Ah, patatawarin naman ako ng Panginoon. And those who sin without remorse or conviction or change have no relationship with Christ whatsoever. But even a saved Christian has to choose good over evil. And in this verse, the emphasis is on the one born of God. And God lives in the believer and the believer can therefore no longer live the same life as prior to becoming God's child. Though believers continue to sin, lahat po tayo ay nagkakasala. Pero we will be changed more into the likeness of Christ. And God's children are expected to reflect His characteristics to some degree. And again, yung emphasis po dito is not on perfection, but likeness. And an unchanged person It says po dun sa, sinabi po dun sa verse, is not a true believer. A true believer cannot help but live differently because God lives within them. And in verse 10, it says, A person who does not practice righteousness is not from God. In other words, a believer will seek to live according to God's way. They may fail. Maari po tayong magkamali o maari po tayong mabigo. But in Psalms chapter 51, it says, But they believers will not persist deliberately walking in darkness. And a true change person love fellow believers. In verse 10, anyone who does not practice righteousness is not of God, nor the one who does not love his brother. So a person who does not love other believers fails to show the primary sign of the faith. And in John chapter 13, verse 34 to 35, it says, A new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. And by this, everyone will know that you are my disciples. And if you love one another, believers are brothers and sisters in Christ, and we are children of God. A believer's top goals are to fully love God and to love one's neighbor as Christ loves them. And those who show no desire to love others, specifically their fellow believers, cannot truly claim to be a child of God. Si Paul po in Philippians chapter 3 verse 14, it's, sinabi po niya ron, I press toward the mark of the price of the upward calling of God in Christ Jesus. Sabi po ni Paul, this is the goal of my life to be like Christ. And the goal of the Christian life is to pursue righteousness, character, maturity, all of which we get from the works of the Holy Spirit in us. Pray and discern the will of the Holy Spirit sa buhay po natin. And the work of the Holy Spirit is to produce new life in us. Not practicing sin is the evidence that the Holy Spirit operates in our new birth. Amen? In our conclusion, love right. I-reflect po natin yung character po ng Panginoon. Manifest the life of God that is in us by abiding and submitting to His Word. Love right. Huwag po tayong mamuhay sa kasalanan and refuse the works of sin. Because it is incompatible of we of who we are, because we are children of God. Love right, we have a new life in Christ, and we know that the day will come when we will see Jesus Christ, and when He appears, the Bible says we will be transformed into His image, and forever we will be like Him. And if this is who we are eternally, we purify ourselves even now into His image, into His character, in service, 
in worship to Him, our God, who bestowed great love for us. Amen? Samahan niyo po akong manalangin. Thank you, Father, for loving us and saving us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you came to save us of our sins and destroy the works of the devil in our life. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding us in the right path. Lord, we pray that you find us faithful and we can give glory to your name. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen and amen. And now, with the love of God, in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with you all, and all God's people says, Amen and Amen. in you.